In this chapter, we are going to be looking at McLaurin and Taylor series. Okay, first let's talk about McLaurin series. I will use MS for McLaurin series. The power series f of x is given by f of 0 plus f prime 0 x plus f double prime 0 over 2 factorial x squared plus f triple prime 0 over 3 factorial x cubed plus and so on. Okay, now a few things about the McLaurin series. First, we are dealing with a power series expansion. Okay, and we are getting a power series expansion for f of x. Good. So let me make some notes here. We are dealing with a power series. Then we are saying that our series is centered at x equals to 0. That means we are evaluating f of 0. We are evaluating f prime 0. That means you differentiate f of x, you will get f prime x. And then you get to evaluate f prime x at x equals to 0, so f prime 0. And then we have f double prime 0. That means you differentiate f prime x, you'll get f double prime x. Then you evaluate that at x equals to 0. And then you go on f triple prime x. Then you plug in x equals to 0 and evaluate that. So my point, we are dealing with a power series which is centered at x equals to 0, which means we are going to evaluate f of 0, we are going to evaluate f prime 0, f double prime 0, and f triple prime 0, and so on. Okay? These are all derivatives, yeah? f prime x is the derivative of fx, f double prime x is the derivative of f prime x, f triple prime x is the derivative of f double prime x, and so on. So basically, we are dealing with y, dy dx, d2y dx squared, d3y dx cubed, and so on. Okay? Good. Then, the series itself, the McLaurin series itself, make sure you know what it is, yeah? It is f of 0 plus f prime 0x plus f double prime 0 over 2 factorial x squared f triple prime 0 over 3 factorial x cubed and then the next term after this will be f up of 4 0 over 4 factorial x to the power of 4 and so on. Okay? Great. Now this f up of 4 means you have differentiated f of x 4 times. Okay? And then you plug in 0 you will get f up of 4 0. And don't forget there is a 4 factorial at the bottom and x to the power of 4 and so on. Important, the series is centered at x equals to 0 and please um, make sure that uh, you know this series quite well and um, it's quite easy to do. Okay, It's quite easy to set up a Maclaurin series expansion for f of x and also take note of the fact that f upper k0 must exist. Okay, It must exist. Example number one, we asked to find the first four non-zero terms of the McLaurin series for the following functions. e to the power of minus 3x and 1 over 2 minus 3x whole thing squared. So let's start slowly with part a. We have f of x equals to e to the power of minus 3x. Okay, so when you plug in x equals to 0, you will get 1. Okay? Then you need to, dif you need to differentiate this. f prime x, you will get minus 3 e to the power of minus 3x. So when you plug in 0 here, you will get minus 3. Okay, f double prime x, differentiate this, you will get... 9e to the power of minus 3x. And then you need to work out the value of f double prime x when x equals to 0 and you'll get 9. Okay, they want the first four non-zero terms. So let's do the differentiation one more time. Okay. 
f triple prime x will be minus 27 e to the power of minus 3x. When you plug in 0 here, you'll get negative 27. So now using the formula, okay, we have uh, f of 0 plus f prime 0x plus f double prime 0 over 2x squared plus f triple prime 0 over 3 factorial. Okay, let me get that again. Okay, over 3 factorial x cubed and so on. So f of 0 is 1. f prime 0 is negative 3, so I have negative 3 times x. And then I have f double prime 0, which is 9, and 9 over 2 x squared. f triple prime 0 is negative 27, so negative 27 over 3 factorial is 6, so uh, negative 27 over 6, or this is just 3 factorial. Okay, so 3 factorial is 6. Clean this up and you'll get your final answer 1 minus 3x plus 9 over 2x squared minus 9 over 2x cubed. Okay, they want the first four non zero terms and we're done. Now you need to do the same thing for part B. The idea is the same, so we can move a bit faster. f of x is 2 minus 3x raised to the power of negative 2. Okay, this is f of x. Okay, f of x is uh, 1 over 2 minus 3x raised to the power of 2, so it's better to write it like this, 2 minus 3x raised to the power of negative 2, uh, it's easier for us to differentiate. So f of x is this, so plug in x equals to 0, you'll get 2 to the power of negative 2, which is 1 over 4. Differentiate this, bring the negative 2 down, reduce the power by 1 and differentiate inside do it carefully you'll get this 6 times 2 minus 3x raised to the power of minus 3 plug in 0 you'll get 6 over 8 which is 3 over 4 next one differentiate this again minus 3 times 6 is uh, minus 18 reduce by 1 you get negative 4 differentiate inside you get minus 3 again when you differentiate inside you'll get minus 3 so you'll get 54 times 2 minus 3x raised to the power of negative 4. Plug in 0, you'll get 54 over 16, which will be, when you clean that up, you'll get 27 over 8. So f triple prime x, okay, uh, differentiate this one more time, and you'll get this expression here. Plug in 0, and you'll get, okay, 81 over 4. Using the formula, we have f of 0 plus f prime 0x. So f prime 0 is 304, so 304x. f double prime 0 over 2 factorial, so 27 over 8 divided by 2, x squared. f triple prime 0, 81 over 4 divided by 3 factorial, which is 6, x cubed. Clean this up. Use a calculator to help you along. You'll get your final answer. 104 plus 304x plus 27 over 16x squared plus 27 over 8x cubed. Good.